Hey there. Um, I'm here for my interview with Gigi and Hadid. Hey. Oh, Gigi, hey. How's it going? It's going well. Let's do the 73 question interview thing. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. How are you feeling today? Um, so excited because I've asked you this like a hundred times and now I'm finally doing it. Not as excited as I am. Well, I needed to get this answer right away though. All right. Does anyone ever call you by your real name? Jelena? From this point on, should I call you Jelena? Uh, if you want to, but Gigi's fine. Okay, Gigi. What do you miss most about living in California full time? Mm, being so close to the beach. What do you love most about living in New York? That you can do anything, anytime. How do you handle all that jet lag? I'm really good at sleeping on planes. And what's your schedule like these days? Do you really want to know? This is going to be scary. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Okay, Google. Read me my last text. Gigi, your schedule is pretty easy. After your shoot, meet us at JFK, Free Paris, London, Berlin, Rome, Saint Tropez, the island nation of Nauru, Antarctica, and Des Moines, Iowa. See you at the airport. There you have it. Okay, wow. How many people watched your most recent Snapchat? Mmm, I have no idea. Hey! What are you doing here? You know, just my 73 questions. What's the best and worst color to wear? Um, I like wearing bright colors and I don't really have a least favorite. Have you ever cut your own hair? Yes, actually. Uh, before my first Baby Guest campaign, I cut my bangs, and that's why I wore a bandana. Who's your style icon? It switches between Rihanna and the Olsen twins. What trend will you never get tired of? Being able to wear glasses whenever I want. What trend do you wish would never come back? I feel like if you rock it, you rock it. All right, what accessory can you not leave your home without? Gigi Hadid for Vogue Eyewear, baby. <laughs> nice. Thank you. All right. What is your favorite memory from your childhood? Mm, being with my horses all the time, like morning to night. What's the best piece of advice your mom has given you? If you're not the nicest, most hardworking girl in the industry, there's only someone prettier, nicer, and more hardworking. What's the best piece of advice your father has given you? Mm, creativity can happen whenever, wherever. Other than your family, who do you call for advice? I have different friends for different situations. All right, now I got a few Zane questions here. Let's do it. Which of Zane's tattoos are your favorite? Um, I feel like I have a new kind of infatuation with a different one every week. I really like the details in them. What's the most romantic thing Zane has ever done for you? A couple years ago on Valentine's Day, we went on a boat trip and it was really nice. Is it true he likes to cook pies? Yes, I'm so grateful for that. What's your favorite pie that he's made? Chicken and sweet corn, it's like a hug. I also hear that you're an artist. I am. Can you paint something for me? Sure. Okay. Last drinkable oh. water sip. <laughs> nice. Who is your girl crush right now? Um, I always say this, but Rihanna. What's your most used emoji? Probably the um, heart with the like Cupid bow going through it. Do you have any tattoos? No, I don't actually. Okay. You were once Sandy from Greece for Halloween. Any idea what you're going to do next year for Halloween? I told you I'd have to kill you, but I painted you something. Something. That's... Love it? Clever. Thanks. Now, you're right-handed. Yes. What does your signature look like left-handed? Ooh, uh... Let's see. Can you do your signature left-handed while whistling? <laughs> and... Who wants to buy it for lots of monies? That looks like Picasso. <laughs> <laughs> what is one thing about your culture or background that you wish more people knew? Um, I feel very lucky and very proud to be of dual heritage. Can you name all of your siblings, oldest to youngest, in 10 seconds? Go. Go. Mariel, Alana, two. Bella, Anwar. Two, <laughs> two seconds. That was in 10, that was a lot shorter. What sport are you the worst at? Uh, I don't like to talk about it. Now, I hear you like to box. I do. Could you, uh, you know, spar with me a little sure. bit right now? Let's, uh, let's do this, Gigi. Come on. Awesome. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, oh. Ow. Ow, ow. All right, stop, stop, stop. Okay. Sweaty. When you were in high school, you were captain of the volleyball team. Yes. What position did you play? Outside header. Can you show me some volleyball moves with this volleyball? Sure. Okay. Should we walk? Let's do it. Let's go. Oh. Let's really go. Go. Bad. Okay. Oh. Um, what is the best show on Netflix right now? Oh. Keep going. Go. Go, go! Special on Netflix. Abstract. Um, what's the last internet video that made you laugh? That little girl singing Moana. And Gigi wins. Yes. How do you feel about horoscopes? Um, I love them. I read them. I don't really believe them. All right, can you show me how tall you are on this scale right here? Sure. Okay. 
What's your favorite song to sing in the shower? Um, I like to make up songs in the shower. Six foot. Now, JJ, you love cooking. What's your signature dish? Probably my cheeseburger, because I won Master Chef with it. What's your favorite dish your mom cooks? Spaghetti bolognese. Guy right here with the question. Oh, thank you. Hey, Gigi, I was wondering, do you ever want to have kids someday? Great question. <laughs> yes. What's your go-to drink? Spicy margarita. What's your favorite dessert? Vanilla souffle. What is... Beach slip. The best late night spot in New York. Uh, my apartment. Okay, this one's tough. Can you rank your top 10 favorite Taylor Swift songs? I do have my list of books. Book a list with me. How convenient. Ready? Go. Not in any specific order. Dear John, stay, 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 forever and always. How You Get the Girl, Clean, This Love, Begin Again, Long Live, Tim McGraw, and... Better Man for Little Big Town. <laughs> Are you the one who introduced Kobe and Taylor Swift? Uh, no, actually. Taylor introduced me to Kobe at a concert. How many Kobe jerseys do you currently have in your closet? They're in storage, but probably like five for each number. That's a fair amount. Did your mom speak Dutch to you when you were growing up? Uh, mostly when we visited Holland. Uh, can you say something to me in Dutch? Mm, nay, after you. Thank you. What's your favorite place you visited? <sighs> Probably Tahiti. If you were a superhero with a superpower, what would your superpower be? Invisibility. Would you ever go back to school and finish studying criminal psychology? I think about it a lot, actually. Up to you, please. Thank you. Okay. Is it true you and Bella were both competitive horseback riders? Very competitive. What was your first horse's name? Uh, it was a rescued miniature pony and I named him Rocky Daddy after my rocking horse. Gigi, what's your spirit animal? The horse, but I've been told that my totem for this part of my life is fox. What is one thing you have to have at a shoot? I appreciate chips and guac. All right, what do we have over here? This is my portfolio. Nice. <laughs> and my manager, Louise. Hi, Louise. <laughs> do you have an alter ego that comes out during shoots? Um, yeah, but they don't have names. Mm -hmm. What is your most memorable magazine cover? My first American Bow cover. What would you say is the biggest moment of your career so far? Getting all four big Vogue, so that's French, Italian, British, American. What was your first Vogue photo shoot? Uh, Ta-da. Okay. <laughs> uh, we reshot Anna Wintour's first American Vogue cover. Huh, that's really cool. Hey, G, how many times have I been mistaken by a bodyguard? Like a thousand, but how many times have I been mistaken for your bodyguard? Boom. He probably more than me. <laughs> all right. So what exciting fashion stuff do you have coming around the corner? Mm, my Tommy XGG collection, the third one, comes out in September. How does it feel to have your own Barbie doll? Major. And speaking of uh, GG Barbie, she's here. She's right there. Thank you for joining us, Barbie. Your hair looks a little bit rough. OK. Gigi, can you give your miniature self a selfie? Sure, but let's go to the white backdrop. Okay. Go to lipstick color. Uh, Maybelline Matte Nudes. What time do you go to bed? Like midnight, usually. Do you ever fall asleep with your makeup on? All the time. Okay, Google, take a selfie. Love it. You love it? Great. Let's show them. The results, and that is amazing. Great. So, um, how long have you ever gone without your phone? Um... Two weeks, horse camp. Horse camp. Well, Gigi, that was question number 73 and I've had awesome. a delightful time. Say bye, Gigi Barbie. <laughs> See ya.